you right there, YouTube. It is Crackoon again, bringing you another gameplay. <laughs> Commentary man, we're here again, bringing you some Armored Warfare 3 like I do. Going to be playing a 6v6 domination on the map Liberation using the Type 95 with a kick proficiency. Got rapid fire attachment on there. Running Slight of Ampro, Hardline Pro Marksman. Kill streaks wise, I'm running the Reaper, the Pavlo, the Osprey Gunner. I mean, the Reaper, the AC 130, the Osprey Gunner, not the Pavlo. My mistake, my mistake. But uh, moving on with it, man. Boom! Doing it like I do. This is literally like one of my first ever gameplays. Or the first time ever playing Liberation. It's just what I do, man. The map's easy to pick up. The flow of the map. And I mean, when it's like your first ever gameplay and you get a beast in gameplay from it, you know it's kind of like... It's going to be a good map down the line. I mean, granted, it may not be the greatest map for 6v6, but... Down the line, you know it's going to be good. But also on top of that, because I got a good gameplay from it, and it's like relatively early on, like like I said, it might actually be my first ever gameplay playing on Liberation. But uh, like I said, it's just like, you know, it's straightforward enough. It's just like a beast in map, easy to get to grips with and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm going to give you a rundown. I'm going to give you my thoughts about it, my tips and tricks, you know. Give you the drop for, uh, well, if you've already got Elite and say you want to drop on Liberation, then... I'll give you some help here, or if you just want to be able to get the drop for when the DLC collection is released to the public on March the 20th. It's entirely up to you, but either way, I'm going to run you down through it. And Liberation is an interesting map, right? But first, I'll talk about Type 95. I'm using Type 95 because Type 95 is kind of my go-to assault rifle. I mean, it's straightforward enough. The gun's a beast. It's like the FAMAS for Modern Warfare 2. People moan about it in Modern Warfare 3. Oh, the Type 95's cheap. You're cheap if you use it. You're a bitch if you use it. Whatever you want to say like that. I'm sorry, you're wrong. Full stop. Any free burst weapon over an automatic weapon with the hit detection issues that Modern Warfare 3 has is not cheap. Full stop. Granted, you may get the rate of fire, hit fire accuracy, whatever you want to say like that, up close and personal. But that's like, that's the uh, that's the drawback I'm going to take because I'm more than likely going to get burned by somebody who's got an automatic close up. You know what I'm saying like that? So it's entirely up to you the way you go about it. M16, Type 95, MK14. It's your long range assault rifle map. This is what this map is. Oh, sniping. It's entirely up to you. But I prefer, well, I don't really snipe, so I prefer not to use a sniper if you understand what I'm saying like that. But... It's straightforward enough, beasting, doing it like I do, but first off, right, Liberation, I'm going to blow your mind right about now, it's Wasteland, it's Wasteland remade for Modern Warfare 3, and if you can't see it now, have a little look from the Reaper, B is centred directly within the middle, you've got the underground, like, tunnel that pretty much stretches through B to C, and then to get all the way to A, you've pretty much got a riverbed, which is still like the trenches from uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Wasteland. It's it's Wasteland remade, and there's no denying that. And thinking back to Modern Warfare 2, I liked Wasteland. That was my opinion. I mean, the only thing that this map has got differently is it's got a lot more foliage and uh, foliage or like whatever, trees, bushes. It's got a lot more of that like in the middle and open as obstructions or whatever you want to say like that. As far as that's being said, it's got a lot more interior, exterior, flanking routes, you know, closed down, sight lines, a lot of stuff like that. It's got everything that M Wasteland didn't have, really, which is like a flow of the map. Because you see what happened with Wasteland in most scenarios is people like, well, it depends what you're playing, domination, team deathmatch, whatever you want to say like that. If it's a domination, people lock down two flags, they'll maintain the centre bunker, and that'll be pretty much an end game. One, the rest of the enemy team will spawn in one quarter for like the entire game and they'll try and take the flag back but they might be successful or they may be insuccess unsuccessful or whatever. So I mean you've got to take it for what it is really when it comes down to it like that. So as far as that's been said right, that's, that's all over and done with and everything like that. Learning of the flow of the map. It's interesting really and I mean obviously domination is easier to learn the flow of the map and just generally as a game mode it's a lot easier to learn like the map itself because you know where the spawns are on the flags. If you've got two flags here they're pretty much going to be spawning over there and I know Modern Warfare 3 spawns are notorious for being shit but I mean you've got a rough idea and that's undeniable that you've got a rough idea when playing domination and stuff like that but I don't know I, this is where I can see problems coming with a map. Team deathmatch variants, uh, headquarters variants, you know, all, all like the kind of the game modes in which 
they re require you to get kills, but at the same time as that, they require you to maybe, well no, not require, they uh, they turn out as in maybe people want to camp, because I mean in team deathmatch on this, I can't imagine what people will be thinking, whether it's like, they want to sit back with snipers, try and snipe people, lock down sight lines, they want to camp with an assault rifle, lock down a particular area, a particular building, you know, they want to lock down the under, like the underground like tunnel or whatever you want to say like that. There's all these different variants, but as far as domination goes, it's straightforward enough. So, I mean, I think for me personally, I'll play this as strictly a domination map, and that's about it. Because, like I said, with headquarters as well, what I'm trying to get out with headquarters is it's a game mode that's based upon kills, right? You've got to kill, like, the enemies before they can capture the base, or if they capture the base, then they don't get any more respawns until you've taken over the base, but you still, still like, the whole... The whole setup of the game mode is based upon kills. That's undeniable. I mean, th this could go for, like, any game mode within Call of Duty. I mean, obviously, it's based upon kills, but, I mean, there are then game modes that are based upon it more than others. I mean, for instance, Team Defender, right, is a completely and utterly uh, kill-based game. But, I mean, they had the flag in it to, you know, give the variation, you know, kind of give an objective to the game. And it's the same goes for Headquarters and Team Deathmatch, except, well, Team Deathmatch is purely kill-based. Headquarters is kill based with like, you know, uh, an objective that you've got to capture and hold and stuff like that. So, these are the maps where I'm seeing problems because with a map like this, right, and adding them game modes and stuff like that, because it's so, the map's so vast and it's so like, you know, so like long to get to different points of the map and traversing from different parts of the map is, well, I'm not going to lie, it's a long process at times. So, I mean... You've got to take it for what it is, really. But, I don't know. I don't really want to go on about game modes and start bitching and stuff like that. I want to give you some tips and tricks, right? And as you can see here, you've been watching the gameplay in the background. You're seeing how I've, like, been playing out with the map, you know, hitting them high kill streaks and everything like that. This is kind of what I want to do. You've kind of seen that I've sticked over towards this side of the map where it's more open. You know, you've got, like, the whole interior buildings. But, I mean, like, with this whole, like, I don't know what you'd call it, like, uh, what would they call it? Like, you know, the whole concrete cordoned off circular area. It's an extremely good place to lock down. And as far as anything else goes, this is probably how you want to lock down the map. You don't want to stay over towards the other side. Here, this is like the ultimate fail ever. Wait for it. There goes my sentry gun. I didn't get a single kill with that. I don't know why I set it up over there. It did nothing and then I moved it. <laughs> oh, I'm just so unlucky with shit like that. But anyway, right. Like, oh, what was I saying now? God. Uh, I've completely lost my train of thought. Whatever, man. Whatever. Shit, I think I get killed by a stealth bomber. I think I luckily survived a stealth bomber, in fact. Whatever, man. Moving on with it. Uh, what was I saying? God damn it. I hate it when I lose my train of thought because of fails and shit like that. But I don't know. Whatever, whatever. Moving on with it, right? Tips and tricks. I've told you, you want to lock down the side, that other side of the map where it's, you know, it's got the higher ground. Compared to, like, the other side of the map where... You've got like the whole underground arches, like the tunnels and like, you know, it's kind of like the whole flow around the map with the awnings and the leaves and, you know, all like the colours and stuff like that. You don't want to stick over near there because like in all maps, yeah, you always get like a part of the map dead. That is pretty much the side of the map that's going to become dead. And if you want to be in the action, you stay over here near these big dirty missiles where you've got C and B. I, I would I'd recommend to lock down A because... Like I said, A's further away than, like, most of the other flags, and it's not as well connected as the other flags. Because, I mean, C is extremely open. C is an extremely open flag. It's probably the most open flag on this map. I mean, A's got covering. It's got, like, a wooden, like, structure around it. It's a, it provides some cover, but it's not, like, completely covered. But it's still got obstructions there. I mean, with B itself, there's a big hole on B, on the bridge on B. So, I mean, you can fall through that. They've got jeeps there. They've got like a little two foot high wall blocking either side of B. It's open. I mean, it's probably harder to put a need on it because it's on a slope. But it's still not as open as C. So C is definitely the one where you want a lot of people into. Because my opinion, the more open the flag, the more likely you are you're going to get like a fair spawn. Where they're going to be spawning around the open, around C. So I mean, it's straightforward enough as it goes like that. So... 
you got to take it for what it is, really. I mean, another little tip and trick. Stick to your long-range assault rifles or sniper rifles. I don't snipe. Don't like it. Just the way I am. Liked it in Black Ops. Don't like it in Modern Warfare 3. Didn't like it in Modern Warfare 2. Never going to like it in any Modern Warfare game if they keep it the way it is. Full stop. Stick to your long-range assault rifles. I'm talking MK14, M16, Type 95. Your ACR, man. I mean, the ACR is a fully automatic weapon, but I mean, seriously, you can pop people long range as easy as you can the MK14 at times. It's just the whole scenario where you want to feel comfortable and how you want to feel comfortable. And here's another little important trick. And you see, I always drop the tricks. I'm like fisticuffs. I drop the tips and tricks towards the end of the game. So if people are still there watching, that's the way it is. You've got to watch it at the end of the game. The final tip and trick. Don't rush. Full stop. Do not rush on this map. Rushing on this map is a death trap. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to bring you a rushing gameplay of it and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Take your time. Play defensive. Know where the enemies are going to be spawning. Know your surroundings. Know where you've got cover. Know where you've not got cover. You know, take your time. You know, aim down sights around corners because out of all the maps compared to anything in Modern Warfare 3, this map is the most open and... It's the most obviously going to lead to people camping in the open, in plain sight, which then leads to more anger because you're getting killed by them. You know what I'm saying like that? So, you take it for what it is. That's all I've got to say for now. Peace!